Now today we're looking at an electronic oil level sensor, which is really just an electronic dipstick. These modern vehicles, a lot of them just do not come from the factory with a dipstick. Now to get to this point, I've already placed the vehicle on jack stands. I've removed the plastic noise cancellation tray and drained the oil. If you need a guide on how to do that, I'll include a link in the description box below and let's jump right into it. Now these fasteners have been on here for 11 years so always a good idea just to spray them down with some penetrating oil. And then we have the harness connector on the bottom as a tab. Press down with your thumb and remove from the body. Don't pull from the wiring. And then we just have three fasteners, 10 millimeter in this case. rock it back and forth and there's your sensor and then you have a gasket make sure you replace this gasket now very quickly I was thinking is there a way to test this sensor in other words with coolant temperature sensors and air intake sensors you can quickly grab a multimeter set it on the ohm setting and then apply heat to it and typically the rate will change but here nothing is happening whatsoever and it could simply be because it's not getting hot enough the engine oil is very very hot my guess is it's just not generating enough heat so I was hoping to show you a way to test these but even in the in the Audi service manual there's no clear way to test them it simply says if you need to replace it, this is how you do it, and that's it. So here's our old gasket. This is the new one, and then we can reinstall it. This is just some clean engine oil, and then just place it right on the sensor. Now, don't over torque these. Don't forget, this is plastic. This will break very, very easily. From the factory, I think it's around eight foot pounds. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and tight. This is our new drain plug and drain washer. So now we can check the sensor, make sure that everything is working correctly. So on this 2011 Audi, it needs to warm up, then turn off the vehicle and let it sit for at least two minutes. Then we can go into its menu and the oil level engine must be warm to obtain an exact measurement that's because really you want to be halfway in the gauge cluster but nonetheless easy enough to do the biggest cost really is the oil and the filter that's close to 80 85 bucks if you want good stuff but other than that you can save a ton of money doing the work yourself as always thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time